Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and this is the beautiful Winston or Win as I call him. I'm just popping down and today I'm sharing with you an impromptu video. As you can tell I haven't got hardly any makeup on but I wanted to share with you the nail polishes that I picked up from superdrug.com from Revolution. So I've got quite a number to share with you. I in fact picked up these were the first six that I picked up. I don't know how clearly you're going to be able to see them. Um, let me just pick up three in each hand, if I can. <laughs> it's difficult. Okay. So these are the first six I picked up. Um, and I love the formula so, so much, let me just pop them down, that I've now gone ahead and picked up more. So I thought I would share with you a short video of the shades that I picked up because I know when you purchase things from a website, it can be a little bit difficult to choose the shade. Sometimes it looks a little bit different. So I thought that's what I'm gonna do for you today. And usually I don't film on a Thursday anymore, but I thought I'm gonna to have to do this for you so that you can um, see all of the shades. I'm not gonna be painting them on my nails or anything like that, there's too many. I'm just gonna hold them up to the camera and you'll be able to get a good idea of you know what that shade actually looks like and I'll be able to describe it for you. But the formula of these nail polishes are beautiful. Um, also, another thing that I just wanted to share with you today, a um, little bit off topic, but as you can see, I've got, my top keeps wanting to go that way. Um, I've got hardly any makeup on. I haven't even got my brows on. I've got a little bit of gloss on, a little bit of the Revolution Pro powder foundation and obviously my skincare and that is it and I must say that just recently I feel oh, I don't know what it is but I feel that I don't need makeup anymore for years and years and years and especially as I've gotten a little bit older I've really felt that I've needed to cake my face in makeup near enough cover my or obliterate my whole face and I don't know if it's the summer or if it's that I'm changing. Um, I don't know what it is, but I have started to not wear hardly any makeup. Um, today I've got a little bit on because I've actually come out, and that is the Revolution Pro Powder, for, um, Powder Foundation. I've come out with lots and lots of spots due to the hot weather. Um, it's made my skin so oily and I glow on a daily basis and that's caused me to have spots. I get this every summer, but it's actually um, made me think, do I need to wear makeup? Do I need to cake my face in all of this makeup every single day? And the answer is no. I feel, I don't know, I feel a little bit different. Over the last few weeks, I have felt different in myself and confident enough to actually not wear so much makeup. So I'd love your opinion on that. Um, I don't know if it's gonna continue. I don't know how long I'm gonna do it for, but I actually do feel good. I mean, I went out and about um, this morning um, in my local town and no one battered an eyelid. I, I went out and no one said anything um, and I don't know what it is, but I think sometimes I feel like and I have actually gone to Norwich without any makeup on as well, um, which is obviously a city um, in Norfolk. Um, yeah, I just feel so so liberated, I suppose. So I'd love to hear from you, your thoughts on that. Um, and now let's get into having a look at the nail polish. Now I've picked up a number of them, and the reason is, is like I said, I have tried these nail polishes. The only one that I'm a little bit disappointed with, and um, <laughs> I actually mentioned this in last week's video, and the reason is, actually, it looked great on camera. So I think it's just, if there's no light hitting it, it may not show up its true beauty, but it's the shade Poison that I shared with you, and it's the only shimmer, I think, that I've picked up, which is really unusual. So yeah, poison. And like I say, on camera, when the light hits it, it looked beautiful. So I might have to eat my words with this one and try it and see how I get on with it. 
but let's get into the new shades they're going to be random not in any order the first shade is this one and it's called bear and even though it's bear it's absolutely beautiful it's not it is nude but it's got a little bit of a mauvey pink tone to it so this is bear so they all have that R on the front and that's bare okay so that one is bare if you wanted to pick that one up I'm very hot I'm in a room with the door shut because my washing machine was spinning so um, forgive me if my hands are a little bit clammy the next one is lingerie which looks like that so that is lingerie this time round, I've actually picked up a lot of nudes because I just love nudes, obviously. And I'm hoping to start painting my fingernails. Like I say, the formula is amazing. Um, the next one is caramel. So this is caramel. I'll try and get it in the right light so you can have a good look. So caramel, um, it looks like there's a little bit of a sticker that side. Let's, so let's change size. so caramel. The next one is, oh, this is so beautiful. Um, this one is True. So True. Now they all have the R on, but obviously I'm showing you them without the R so you can get a good picture of, um, you know, the shade. So that is True. I mean, beautiful. Um, I'm trying to get all the ones that are similar. I think that might be it. Actually, we've got one more here. Now we're now going into the pink so those were like a nude, brown nude kind of shade. Uh, this is the pinks and the first one is Pillow. So this is Pillow. Beautiful, isn't it? Like a dusky rose. Um, we've got another pink here. I went a little bit crazy with the pink. This is Flamingo. Now I expected it to be a little bit more like the next one that I'm going to show you. Um, but Flamingo is like, I don't know, it's a rose but it's muted. It's like a milky pink, I suppose, not a rose. Yeah, milky pink. So that is Flamingo, beautiful. Um, the next one is a brighter pink. Um, now I expected Flamingo to look like this, but it isn't, obviously. It's like a milky pink. This one is a Bubble, so we're now going into much more of a brighter pink bubble. Like I say, it's gonna be random. I haven't got them in any order. So that is bubble. A little bit reflective because it's glass. So I'm trying to move it around so you've got a good view. So that's bubble. Um, we've got another pink here, which is called candy. Now I don't actually usually buy these kind of pinks because I've not had very good um, experiences with them in the past. They tend to go a bit like Tipex, very thick, very gloopy, um, and they chip. But I have used um, so far, which ones have I used? I have used so far all, um, so I'll just repeat that one. That one is candy. Um, I have used, like I say, I've got one shimmer, which is poison that I've already shared with you, but the others are like just a gloss um, with no shimmer in them. And I've used this one, which I've actually got on my toenails at the moment called Gentle. And um, oh, it's just a beautiful formula. You don't need to put too much on the nail to get that color payoff. Um, I'm finding that they do, it is okay with one coat, but it looks better with two. Um, but you don't need to really cake it on and really layer it on. And you know, if you have these shades, so like Gentle and like Pop, this one I've also shared with you before. And these are the ones that I've tried and tested. So I've tested all of the previous ones, but these are the ones that I've kept on my nail. Um, and I tend to find that they go really gloopy, really thick, they chip, but not these. Because they are such a good color payoff, you don't need to paint layer upon layer of nail polish. And that's why I've gone a little bit nail polish crazy. Not only that, but obviously at Superdrug, they are, you pay for two and you get one free. So that's why I've done it. This is the shade Peach. 
I mean, oh, that at the moment with a little bit of a tan, beautiful. So peach. And then we've got um, this one. We're going back to the milky pink shades. This one is called Silk. So it is nearly white, that one, but you've got a little tiny bit of pink in there. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, I think that would look gorgeous on the nail with a tan. Then I've got this one, which is called Sassy, which is bright pink. Again, I think this would look gorgeous. I think all of these will look beautiful, all of these pinks. So that is Sassy. And then I've got this one, which is Storm. I went for this one. Now, I did ask in one of my previous videos which shades to go for, and one of you kindly said, I've got Storm, um, it's absolutely beautiful. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have to pick this one up. So thank you so much for um, letting me know how beautiful this shade um, was. It is beautiful, and I can't wait again to put that on my toenails. Okay, so that's all of the new ones. If you haven't seen those, I'm gonna quickly go through if you haven't seen my previous videos, um, and obviously I've been waving around the other shades, I'm just gonna go through the other six that I've picked up, just in case you haven't seen them. And obviously I've been showing them off, thinking, yes, you'll know what I'm talking about, but you may not. So the first shade is called Life. So these um, next six I've tested beautiful, and these are the six that I painted separately on my nails, left them on for 24 hours, no chips, no nothing, amazing. So this is life. This one, oh, I mean, this was something that I just added into my car and thought, mm, I'm just gonna try it. I don't think I'm gonna like it. I've tried neon shades in the past, didn't get on with them, but this one has changed everything and it is called Pop. Um, it looks stunning on the toenails, which is where I actually wear most of my nail polish, but the lighter shades I am actually gonna paint on my fingernails. Um, this next shade is called um, Fawn. I should know these off by heart, really. So this is Fawn. Beautiful. I love, love, love the bottle as well that it comes in. The next one is, again, another favourite. This is the one that I mentioned before that I've got on my toenails. It's called Gentle. Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Then I've got this one. I've got to test this one out because this is the one that I looked back on when I obviously filmed and shared these a few days ago. Thought, what am I talking about? It looks beautiful and it really does. I was expecting it to be quite full on, but it's one of those shades that looks like it's black and then when the light hits it, you've got that little pop of green and it's got some shimmer in there. Again, I expected the shimmer to be a little bit more full on. It's not, it's a little bit more subtle than I expected, but the shade is just phenomenal and it is poison. I mean, look, you can see what I mean. So on camera, when that light hits it, you can really see that beautiful green, but I, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more full on. Um, and like I said, that's what made me think, oh, I'm not sure if I like this. But when I looked back at my a film that I shared with you and saw this, I thought, wow, imagine that on the toenails, fingernails, when the light hits it, you think I'm wearing black, but it's not quite black. And then the very, very last one is this one called Camo and totally different for me, but I think, I wear a lot of um, cream um, on camera. I mean, in fact, actually, I used to wear non-stop black, but I've changed it up a bit, and I wear um, a lot of cream now, which I love, and I think this green is gonna look beautiful with either black or cream, which is mainly what I wear a lot of. So yeah, I think, um, I think I've done really well with these shades. I don't think there's that ma many more actually to pick up. I think there was a few um, like deep reds. I might have to pick those up. If I can actually find the shades in Superdrug, and I think I am heading to Norwich over the next couple of days, I'm hopeful that I can have a look at the actual shades because these are the type of shades that I go for. Um, the um, bright yellow, bright orange, 
um, was a little bit of a gamble but I love it and the formula is so beautiful and I haven't even told you the price yet these are three pounds each three pounds but like I say at the moment in Superdrug which is where I've picked up all of mine if you purchase um, or you put three in your basket you only pay for two so you're getting one for free if you obviously pick up three so basically it's a no-brainer isn't it if you love a nail polish like I do then yeah that's probably where you might want to pick um, some nail polish up from so Superdrug has got the offer revolution obviously revolutionbeauty.com is where you can pick these up from also but they don't I don't believe um, they have the offer available um, so yeah I'll have all links down below for you and um, for where you can purchase them from of course I hope that you enjoyed this impromptu video um, and I'd love also to hear about me not wearing so much makeup um, it's liberating I feel I don't know I feel different over the last few weeks I have felt totally different um, and that's why I'm not filming so much things are changing and yeah I feel great so I'd love to hear your thoughts on the um, nail polish I would love to hear your thoughts about um, you know less makeup and your thoughts on that I'd love to hear that actually because like I say it is liberating the fact that I don't have to you know feel like I have to get up in the morning and spend an hour or so in front of the mirror caking this makeup on Obviously, things have changed since I have got um, my two puppies. Things are definitely changing. And, you know, I don't necessarily want to be caked in makeup taking my dogs for a walk. I never thought I would say that um, because I love makeup so much. But I don't need to wear it all the time. So there it is. Um, so, yep, that's what I wanted to share with you today in this little bit of impromptu video. I hope that you found it helpful if you are looking to pick up some of those shades. And I would love it if you let me know which shades out of the ones that I've shared with you today you love and that you may be picking up. So, yeah, I'll obviously leave it with you now to um, leave me a comment down below. I love hear hearing from you, even on the days when I'm not feeling filming um, I love to hear from you because it really does make my day so obviously keep those comments coming and also I just wanted to thank you so so much because I've now hit I think it's 13,000 isn't it 13,000 um, followers and over that now uh, so yeah thank you so so much to every single one of you for subscribing to watch my videos it it really does make my day um, so thank you so so much so until possibly tomorrow now well it will be tomorrow um, I'll be back tomorrow with another video for you but thank you so so much for your support and uh, I'll see you tomorrow thank you bye